Hello, fellow explorers and friends, welcome to Pro Trip. Nowhere else on earth makes the heart swoon like the mention of Paris. The city lures with its magnificent art, architecture, culture, and cuisine. But there's also a quieter magic waiting to be explored, the quaint cobbled lanes, the sweet patisseries around the corner, and the cozy little bistros that beckon with a glass of Beaujolais. Get ready to make Paris your own. This video will cover the top 10 places to see, ways to wander, and signature experiences that define Paris. Number 10. Musée d'Orsay The National Museum of Fine and Applied Arts in Paris that features work mainly from France between 1848 and 1914. Its collection includes painting, sculpture, photography, and decorative arts and boasts such iconic works as Gustave Courbet's The Artist's Studio, Edouard Manet's La Déjeuner sur l'Herbe, and Pierre-Auguste Renoir's Dance at La Moulin de la Galette. The Musée d'Orsay is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay, a railway station and hotel that was designed by Victor Lelou and located on the left bank of the Seine River opposite the Tuileries Gardens. At the time of its completion in 1900, the building featured an ornate Beaux Arts facade, while its interior boasted metal construction, passenger elevators, and electric rails. Because of changes in railway technology, however, the station soon became outdated and was largely vacant by the 1970s. Talks to transform the building into an art museum began early in the decade and were finalized in 1977 through the initiative of President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing. Number 9. Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris Notre Dame de Paris is a medieval Catholic cathedral on the Ile de la Cité, an island in the Seine River, in the 4th arrondissement of Paris. The cathedral, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, is considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. Several of its attributes set it apart from the earlier Romanesque style, particularly its pioneering use of the rib vault and flying buttress, its enormous and colorful rose windows, and the naturalism and abundance of its sculptural decoration. Notre Dame also stands out for its musical components, notably its three pipe organs, one of which is historic, and its immense church bells. Construction of the cathedral began in 1163 under Bishop Maurice de Sully and was largely completed by 1260, though it was modified frequently in the centuries that followed. Number 8, Sainte-Chapelle. The Sainte-Chapelle is the finest royal chapel to be built in France and features a truly exceptional collection of stained glass windows. It was built in the mid-13th century by Louis IX, at the heart of the royal residence, the Palais de la Cité. It was built to house the relics of the Passion of Christ. Built in seven years, an impressive feat, the Sainte-Chapelle was intended to house precious Christian relics, including Christ's crown of thorns, acquired by St. Louis. Having these sacred relics in his possession made the already powerful monarch head of Western Christianity. Adorned with a unique collection of 15 glass panels and a large rose window forming a veritable wall of light, the Sainte-Chapelle is a gem of French Gothic architecture. Designated World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Number 7. Palais Garnier. The Palais Garnier also known as Opéra Garnier is a 1,979-seat opera house at the Place de l'Opéra in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, France. It was built for the Paris Opera from 1861 to 1875 at the behest of Emperor Napoleon III. The Palais Garnier has been called probably the most famous opera house in the world, a symbol of Paris like Notre Dame Cathedral, the Louvre, or the Sacré-Cœur Basilica. Another contributing factor is that among the buildings constructed in Paris during the Second Empire, besides being the most expensive, it has been described as the only one that is unquestionably a masterpiece of the first rank. This performance hall hosts opera, ballet and chamber music performances. At the heart of the Palais Garnier, the De Violet Acoustic Discovery Room showcases wireless speakers, among which the Gold Phantom Opera de Paris. Number 6, Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris, France. It is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. Locally nicknamed La Dame de Fer, French for Iron Lady, it was constructed from 1887 to 1889 as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair and was initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals for its design, but it has become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited monument with an entrance fee in the world, 6.91 million people ascended it in 2015. It was designated a Monument Historique in 1964, and was named part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991. 
The tower is 330 meters, 1,083 feet, tall, about the same height as an 81-story building, and the tallest structure in Paris. Its base is square, measuring 125 meters, 410 feet, on each side. During its construction, the Eiffel Tower surpassed the Washington Monument to become the tallest human-made structure in the world, a title it held for 41 years until the Chrysler Building in New York City was finished in 1930. Stay tuned till the end and give the video a thumbs up while you also smash the subscription. Number 5, Musée de l'Orangerie The Musée de l'Orangerie is an art gallery of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings located in the west corner of the Tuileries Gardens next to the Place de la Concorde in Paris. The museum is most famous as the permanent home of eight large water lilies murals by Claude Monet, and also contains works by Paul Cézanne, Henri Matisse, Amadeo Modigliani, Pablo Picasso, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Henri Rousseau, Alfred Sisley, Chaim Soutine, Maurice Utrillo, and others. The gallery is on the bank of the Seine in the old orangery of the Tuileries Palace on the Place de la Concorde near the Concorde metro station. Napoleon III had the orange rebuilt in 1852, to store the citrus trees of the Tuileries Garden from the cold in the winter. The building was built by architect Fermin Bourgeois. Bourgeois built the orangery out of glass on the same side to allow light to the trees but the opposite side is almost completely windowless to protect the citrus trees from the cold winds. Number 4, Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe was begun in 1806, on the orders of Napoleon I to honor the victories of his Grand Armée. Inspired by the great arches of antiquity, the monument combines the commemorative with the symbolic and it has always played a major role in the national republican consciousness. Every evening, the flame is lit on the tomb of the unknown soldier from the Great War. An exhibition portrays the history and explains its symbolic importance, nationally as well as internationally. The terrace provides superb views both by day and night across the city and its great sweeping avenues. Number 3, Louvre Museum. There are plenty of good reasons to visit the Louvre. So many works of art to discover in this fabulous museum that used to be a palace. Louvre Museum is the world's most visited museum, and a historic landmark in Paris, France. Home to Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the Louvre is considered the world's greatest art museum, with an unparalleled collection of items covering the full spectrum of art through the ages. A central landmark of the city, it is located on the right bank of the Seine in the city's first arrondissement, district or ward. At any given point in time, approximately 38,000 objects from prehistory to the 21st century are being exhibited over an area of 72,735 square meters. Number 2, Montmartre. Montmartre is a large hill in Paris's northern 18th arrondissement. It is 130 meters, 430 feet, high and gives its name to the surrounding district, part of the right bank. Located in the 18th arrondissement, this elevated rural neighborhood on the outskirts of the city has a collection of upscale shops and cafes and still exudes hints of old village charm. The historic district established by the city of Paris in 1995 is bordered by Rue Colincourt and Rue Castine on the north, the Rue de Clignancourt on the east and the Boulevard de Clichy and Boulevard de Rochechois to the south, containing 60 hectares, 150 acres. Montmartre is primarily known for its artistic history, the White Dome Basilica of the Sacré Cœur on its summit, as well as a nightclub district. Near the end of the 19th century and at the beginning of the 20th, during the Belle Epoque, Many artists lived, worked, or had studios in or around Montmartre. Montmartre is also the setting for several hit films. Number 1, Seine River. The Seine is a 777 km long, 483 miles, river in northern France. Its drainage basin is in the Paris Basin covering most of northern France. It rises at Source Seine, 30 km, 19 miles, northwest of Dijon in northeastern France in the Longre Plateau flowing through Paris and into the English Channel at Le Havre. This famous river flows from east to west through the heart of the city and divides Paris's left bank and right bank. It is navigable by ocean-going vessels as far as Rouen, 120 kilometers, 75 miles, from the sea. Over 60% of its length, as far as Burgundy, is negotiable by large barges and most tour boats, and nearly its whole length is available for recreational boating. Excursion boats offer sightseeing tours of the river banks in the capital city, Paris. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you like the videos and contents please like, comment and subscribe our channel.